Yes, we are very excited to be in the daytime kitchen with executive chef Ted Polfelt from 419 West because he's making chocolate ganache and we already dug right in. Yeah. It mm. is so good. I love it so, much. so easy to make. That's is why it? I love ganache because it's super versatile. And there's a lot of different, mm. there's different ratios because you're going to end up with a different result. But the basic formula is equal parts chocolate and heavy cream. Could be white chocolate, could be curvature, really How expensive important, chocolate. How important, that's what I was going to ask. Does it matter if you're buying like the cheaper mm -hmm, dark chocolate mm -hmm, chips mm -hmm. or like how important is that? It depends on the flavor you want to end up with. You know, the cheaper stuff doesn't have as much cocoa butter as, as much flavor. Sometimes it's got more sugar added to it, um, but sugar is still delicious. So I don't, I think it's a matter <laughs> of personal opinion there. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. All right. So, so we're going to get making this in a little bit, but we want to talk about some of the events that you have. Yeah. Coming up. What do you got going on? So we've got uh, this Friday, we've got our class of 1978 from Cave Springs doing a big thing with Doug and Robin, which is kind of cool. So if you're involved yeah. in that, in that, area mm -hmm. come on down and then uh the next weekend we're having our halloween party on a friday so we might have a couple of truffles we'll be handing out some different chocolate stuff which is kind of what we're talking about today but after mm -hmm. that a little early but not too early think about uh thanksgiving coming up yes. next month yeah you That's do right yes uh, the halloween party is it all ages oh, of course it is absolutely okay. we dress up of course mm -hmm. it's the biggest part about halloween yeah you, are you gonna be dressed up as a chef uh that's maybe the sweetest chef. Maybe I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, chef we are the... I'll show up as a TV uh, host. How about that? There you go. There See, you go. She's very creative like over here. Mm, take a look. We're oh back gosh. in the daytime kitchen with Chef Ted Polfelt, and we are making chocolate ganache and then, of course, truffles. Because it's just easy, that easy. Absolutely. I'm going to walk you through the process. So okay. this ganache... Um, is equal parts by weight, chocolate, and cream. Okay. Now, if you wanted a tighter ganache, so these truffles are a little a little gooey because I, I like my, my truffles yeah, a little gooey. Yeah. If you wanted them to be firmer, you just cut back on the cream. So you go... Okay. Slightly more yeah, chocolate. Two parts chocolate, one part cream. So you just do more chocolate to be firmer. So Makes chocolate sense. chips mm -hmm. and a bowl. Okay. All right. We've got heavy cream over here that's just came to a boil. You can see all those nice bubbles moving around. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're adding the heavy cream to the chocolate. Yep. I would have thought oh, the other way around. Me too, That's it. on the stove. <gasps> That's it. So what? now, <laughs> we're gonna let this sit, and for the next few minutes, every couple minutes, we're gonna stir it up, and ultimately, you're gonna end up with ganache that looks like this. This has been put in the freezer, so it's chilled slightly, mm -hmm. but all I did was this, mix it up, mm -hmm. put it into a pan, put it in my fridge, mm -hmm. and now, to scoop our truffles, Yeah. I've got a measuring scoop. Some people um, will put them in a piping bag. They think yeah. that's easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scoop but them look off how the tray. Easy that was. Yeah. Now uh, I have a question about the heavy cream. Because when things boil down, doesn't it become less? Yeah, you don't let so it, do you need to do it like yeah, right away right as soon it as it starts to, right boiling? Right when it comes to a boil. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't let it sit too long. You can see already it's starting to starting to melt, but ultimately it's going to come together to beautiful. Beautiful ganache. So this this ganache, we use truffles. So we just rolled it in. I've got some yeah. cinnamon sugar with a little bit of cayenne. Mm -hmm. um, toasted pecans that I blitzed in a RoboCoop. These are some cocoa nibs that you can buy at your store. They're just chocolate processed in a different manner. Yeah. Cocoa powder is the cheapest and easiest. And uh, toasted coconut. Oh. When you put it in the fridge to like let it set for mm -hmm. a little bit, are you covering this with anything? No. Or do you just plop it, it in? But keep in mind, whatever you have in your fridge, if you have cut onions or weird things like that. It is <laughs> it dairy. It will pick up, it'll, it'll it'll pick up pick on up that, that stuff. Yeah. But okay. so ganache in this state, you could, while it was still warm, you could pour it over a cake to glaze a cake. Uh -huh. um, when it chills, if you put this in a uh, mixer and whip it up, yeah. you've mm -hmm. now got whipped ganache. You could pipe on a cake. <gasps> if you want to write your what? son's name. Can we talk about pies? Thing. Sure, go ahead. Okay, so you can put this in a pie? <laughs> yeah, you can put it in a pie. <laughs> All right, let's say you make your own pie dough. Right, okay, right, right. I got you. Yeah. I've done it once. <laughs> uh, so you're right. And I'm just, I do I cook the pie dough first and then just pour it in? Yep. I would, uh, what I would do is probably, um, you could pour it in, or you could pipe it in. Depends on what texture you want. You want okay. it to be dense like this, because if you just pour it, that's going to be dense. If you want it to be fluffier, cool it down like this, then put it in a mixer and whip it up, and then just pipe it in like whipped cream or anything else. Whoa. You're really excited. You're changing the world. I am so excited. <laughs> I have to try this. Uh, go for it. Okay. Yes. And this is the... Cinnamon sugar. There is a touch of cayenne in there. Ooh. I'm going to try the like nibs. Oh, I like cayenne. Okay, so then once you roll them in the things, do you have to put them? Okay, after I, actually yeah. after we scoop them, do we need to put these I little put them balls back in the, in the fridge. fridge? With okay. the equal parts like this, it's not as strong as the other one. And I would recommend wearing gloves because your hands are gonna get messy. But I like them to melt in your mouth. I like I like them uh, yeah. an e equal part. But if you want them to be denser, um, cut down to the one part cream, two parts chocolate, 
And you can store them like this in an airtight container at room temperature for up to three to five days with the denser one. Mm -hmm. With this one, I would keep them in the fridge. They'll last for about a week. Um, but they'll be so firmer they from the fridge. They would not last no, a week in my house. <laughs> Unless like we're on vacation for a week, popcorn, they're not lasting. I can lasting. eat it like that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's this so is good. great. All right, we're going to share the recipe on our website, daytemplaridge.com. Just click on uh, 419 West. We'll put the um, chocolate ganache recipe in there. And be sure to head out to 419 West on Electric Road for that little costume yeah, party. Come and check it out. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give you a truffle.